in india there is a hunger and malnutrition and at the same time when i commute to work i travel through a vegetable market i see a lot of vegetables and fruits dumped by the road and you know there is a lot of waste the simultaneous existence of food waste loss and hunger is a major issue and this is the one of the first problems that we are tackling as part of operation possible Operation Possible is one of the initiatives uh, taken by Train Technologies where the crowdsourcing of ideas will be passed through certain process to identify which are these kind of challenges and encourage employees to participate in that. So that is how this uh, entire uh, project got initiated. In order to understand how the food loss is happening at the street vendors level, it's very important to understand the day in life of a street vendors. ನಲ್ವತ್ತಾರು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ತರಕಾರಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಮಗೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ನಾಲ್ಕಿದೆ ಸ್ವಂತ ಮನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಜೀವನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ತಿನ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಕೈ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತರಕಾರಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ನನಗೆ ಕಷ್ಟ ಇದೆ ಸಾಲ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಬಂದರೆ ಕಲ್ತು ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಅದು ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನನಗೆ ಅದು ಮಳೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಬಿಸಿಲು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದರೆ ಅದು ಒಂದು ನಮಗೆ ಬಾಧೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಮೂರು ಸಾವಿರ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಿ ಬಂಡವಾಳ ನಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ದು ಸಾಯಂಕಾಲವರೆಗೂ ಉಳಿದಿದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗಿ ಐನೂರು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಲಾಭ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹೋಗೇ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇವಾಗ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಕೆ ಜಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಕೆ ಜಿ ಬಿಸಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಐಟಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಒಂದೇ ಸಾಕು ಹೇಳೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೆಸ್ಪರೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ and uh, once we understood that this issue is there we were able to develop a hypothesis of how we can uh, tackle this problem we ended up uh, forming a truly a global team within india as well as uh, representatives from vietnam china and even africa to understand what solution works best for the street vendors if we could able to increase the shelf life of these vegetables for a couple of more days we can certainly reduce the last food loss to a greater extent and eventually that could increase the income for the street vendors as well to solve that problem for them we come up with a solution that can be implemented in the field we also partnered with a local university whose most of their students are from farming families so the mba students were able to successfully interact with the street cart vendors and local authorities and understand the kind of challenges they face on a everyday basis the street vendors they want a solution to cool their vegetables so that it will look fresh but the key thing is that they want the solution without electricity passive radiative cooling technology is an interesting thing any surface which faces sky gets heated up due to the sun incidence and night time when there is no sun all these surfaces start radiating the heat back into the deep space in a particular wavelength we found a technology where this passive radiative cooling can be done during day time as well there is a company in california which develops a film like aluminum foil it radiates the heat to the sky because sky is always at a very low temperature once we paste it on the canopy the temperature below we can get up to 10 degrees below what it was experiencing before so building the prototype is an iterative process initially we procure fresh vegetables and then we have sensors that measure different parameters and we see how the vegetables go bad over a period of time and then we introduce different interventions potential solutions to see how the deterioration can be slowed down we want the solution to be effective at the same time it should be affordable we have to see how to integrate these technologies on carts which are being uh, sold today so this way we are able to fine tune our approach and then we formalize the design and take it forward now the last piece was that we have a solution it's time for us to you know build some prototype and test out there in the field so we tested uh, for a pilot study in a place called kolar and in kolar also we are having a lot of enthusiastic participation from the local the government officials ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಇವತ್ತು ತರಕಾರಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊ ಇಟ್ಕೊತಾರೆ ನಾಳೆ ಈ ಕೂಲಿಂಗ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾಳೆನೂ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದರ್ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಎ ಲೈವ್ಲಿಹುಡ್ ಲೈವ್ಲಿಹುಡ್
ನನಗೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಅಥವಾ ಎರಡು ಬಂದಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರಿಗೂ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇದಾರೆ ಬೀದಿ ಬದಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರಿಗಳು ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಕಾರ್ಟ್ ನ ಕೊಡ್ಸು ಕೊಡ್ಸಿದ್ರೆ ನಾಳೆ ದಿನ ಜನರಿಗೂ ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗುತ್ತೆ the beneficiary is going to be street vendors but the sponsorer has to be someone else so in order to bind all these things together we are also thinking how this solution can be commercialized and implemented in a large scale we are doing it now in india but this has the potential to transform lives across the world if we could able to consistently show them the benefits in terms of doubling the income in terms of avoiding the losses I am pretty confident over time uh, there will be huge acceptance of this vending card. Gadi madam super idu. Yenale oge edbisa item nikkada. Last two glass ga agalla. Inna labha gerti. Nimmo nim gaadi kodirudalla nam golledu ankul aagta ide. Garo varku idu maadbeku. Parvagilla san namge khushi ide jaasti. Gaadi tandira kottirad nivo. Namaste. 